So today I'm going to show you guys how to do a hot roller set. If you guys intend on doing pageants for a long time, this is definitely going to be something that you need to know how to do. Every hair and makeup artist is going to ask you to bring your kid to ha um, with their hair already like this. Um, there are people at some of the events that you can hire to do this for you, but in the event that there isn't, it's definitely a good thing to know how to do. The better your roller set, the better that your style is gonna be. Now, considering that my kid is not exactly cooperative, we're going to use a hair piece today. So, um, it's gonna be a little bit different than using um, an actual head of hair, but you at least get the point in the technique. Um, as far as your hot rollers, um, anything pretty much works. I don't like the ones that have the velvet on the outside. They don't seem to hold as well, um, but they're fine. Um, I like these hard plastic ones. Um, they seem to hold their heat a lot longer if you can find the old vintage wax core ones those are the best ones to get you can usually find them at goodwill for a couple bucks um depending on the length of the hair is going to depend on what size you need um if you have a little bitty kid with short fine hair you're going to want a pretty small skinny roller if you have a kid with longer thick hair you can get a bigger one um, also you are going to need heat set spray, um, styling spreads, anything. Um, this one is the rock your hair hot curls. Um, I think it's like six or eight bucks. Um, there are cheaper ones. You don't want to overuse this. You don't want it to be wet. Um, and you want to start on completely dry hair. Um, I like to put a little bit of volumizing mousse in the night before um, so that it is, um, you know, good and sticky. I know they say that you don't want clean hair, which that doesn't necessarily mean you want it greasy. Um, I like it to have, you know, a little bit of um, grit to it so I would rather it be washed the night before and then put the volumizing mousse in it. Then you're going to want clips and you can either use the metal clips that come with the rollers which are these little things. Um, I like to use those on the front one because it doesn't leave a mark or you can use um, just your regular butterfly clips. These tend to be easier for people. So, let's get started. Um, I like to let my rollers heat up for a long time, even far after they like click that they're ready, um, just so that they're good and hot. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is brush it all out. Then, so you guys can see, you're gonna take a section that's skinnier than the roller out of the front. And if you want to use like a tail comb to do this, you can. Okay. And so you're going to get this section that's skinnier. And you can use a comb to do the sectioning if you want. Sorry, I have all these horrible kids here doing virtual school. They don't want to listen to me today. All right, so you're gonna brush or comb up and then you will spray just like, I usually say like three sprays on each piece of hair. And then you'll comb it and kind of pull it forward a little bit because you're gonna want enough room to take your roller. Having the spray will help you because it will kind of give it some sticky show you how to do the you'll take this little pin and just push it through right there voila easy squeezy now super fine hair is going to be a lot harder to do um 
it doesn't like to stick in these as much but that doesn't mean you need to load it down with spray um, you might just need to start a little farther down on the hair and you're only going to want to take sections that are about the width of your roller you don't want your sections to be too fat because then you're not going to get a good curl and this, this hair piece still has some teasing in it, so it's kind of hard to section. Tip it in, comes out. Spray. Make sure your ends are smooth too because if you your ends are all jacked up then you get what they call fish hook ends and it looks ugly. And if you have toddlers, you can use like the foam rollers and have them sleep on it. A lot of hair and makeup artists won't let you do that. I don't particularly care, but that needs to be a last ditch effort. Like they will not let you come near them with these hot rollers. Um, the foam rollers don't work as well and they they get really bad fish hook ends. I'll show y'all how to do one with a regular clip. Like I said, you don't want to do the regular clip on the front roller because it'll leave like a little indentation in it and it's really hard to get out. So that way, seriously. So yeah, you can just clip it with that. And then you're just going to continue to go straight down the head. Okay, so once you go all the way down the back, this is what it will look like. So then, you move on to the sides. So, now, on the sides, you're going to go straight down like you did down the back. But because this is a hair piece that I actually have to use on somebody, it has to be done a little bit differently, but I'm still going to kind of give it the same look. And you may need to practice this a couple times before the pageant just so you can kind of get the hang of it. And then some kids, depending on the thickness of hair and length, you may need more than one set of rollers. I actually have two here, and I might need to go, because I already rolled one hair piece, I might need to go get more. But you'll, if you've got a kid with quite a bit of hair, you're probably going to need at least two sets. Never roll anything towards the front. Always roll everything back. And then we're going to use one of our little pins since that will be in the front. Okay. But on a regular head, you do it the other, like going this way. You could do it this way if you really wanted to, but it'd probably be kind of hard.
But if you're watching this to learn how to roll a hairpiece, this is how you want to do it. And just shameless plug, if you need to order a hairpiece, message me. I'll be glad to make one for you. And then you'll go all the way. You'll do your side rollers down and then you'll do the back ones down too. So like if you've got a section that wasn't in this, this hair right here, like behind the ear, you'll do that straight down too. And because these kids will not leave me alone, so I'm just gonna show the finished product on another one I did. This is what your roller set should look like when you're done and it needs to be done at least two hours before your hair and makeup time an hour tops thank you bye